Well, our next champion is Henry. Now, he's a very interesting fighter, not because of how he fights, more so because of how he thinks. This, what you see now, is my little studies, my little study room. Here is where I, where I get all of my homework done. And uh, you're probably wondering, why, what does that studying have to do with uh, martial arts? I'm pretty much self-taught in, uh, in the martial arts. Everything I've done is uh, out of my own accord. I've had to decipher a lot of things. I wasn't always able to attend the best martial arts schools, so then I had to figure out a lot of things. And uh, seeing that I'm, I am mechanical engineering, I could decipher motion, much like a dancer would see somebody perform a particular dance step, break it down into little little tidbits and, di and digest it. So then I would do with martial arts. I would see, for example, jumping back, spinning kick, see how this person would be rotating about what axis, what relative velocity would his foot have to his knee? Or uh, where is he focusing on? So all of these things, the mechanics of the body, I had to, I would be able to decipher from my mechani mechanical engineering background. Quite simply, the body's just another machine. And sure, you have more mechanisms to deal with, but it's just another machine. I mean, you, sure, you have your major muscles, like your biceps, your, your quads, and you, the intrinsic muscles with your fast twitch reactions and whatnot. But when you perform anything with the body, you can break it down to particular motions. Dynamic motion described by translation or rotation of movement is not something that a lot of people strive for. They strive for power. How hard can I hit? Well, hitting hard is just a matter of you having velocity and a particular mass. So then, the faster you go with a particular mass, be it your legs, any part of your hand, you have contact. And what matters is making contact. Power ultimately comes from the fact that you got there faster than your opponent. Okay, we're getting set for our next match. Henry versus Katie. Katie's a street fighter. He's a street fighter before he learned his martial arts. Now this guy, Henry's the guy who uses math angles in his fighting. Does that make any sense to you, Mike? Yes, it does, Willie. It's, uh, any good style should be backed up by physics. And KD gets caught trying to launch that reverse punch. You notice the inside chops, the angular movement from Henry. Oh, great takedown. Henry seems to be in complete control of this match. He is definitely using his physics to the utmost. Yeah, but KD is a street guy, and he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Boy, those are some baggy pants he's got on. Boy, he could be hiding a family of gypsies in those pants. Those are what we call Hakami pants. Yeah, they're pretty common. Right? Notice the kicks thrown by KD. And he KD threw... has a lot of power. He just threw Henry right out of the ring. The law of physics, I believe gravity was involved in that. KD making the mistake of winding up too much. He gets caught with a roundhouse to the jaw. KD made a mistake of showing up for this one. Spinning match. kick takes KD down to the mat again. You won't count KD out because he's a very crafty fighter. When you combine street fighting and martial arts, you've got a deadly combination. KD gets in a traditional tie boxing stance and kicks him low to the leg and. Henry answers back with a spinning elbow and a roundhouse to the head. Henry is one tough cookie. I'm telling you, you go through life with the name Henry, you better be able to kick some butt.
As I said, that craftiness of the street comes out. And the technique shines through. Debilitating spinning kick thrown by KD. It has got Henry shaken up. Oh! I believe he suckered him in on that move. That was planned from the beginning. Right. Oh, a jump spinning kick thrown by Henry. A jump front kick. And a tackling technique. No technique there. Just the street. KD has knocked Henry out. Oh, it appears that the... A blinding technique thrown by Henry. <laughs> Winds up. Oh, a scissor takedown. A jump spinning scissor takedown. And he's and gonna he... finish him. Oh, a right cross right across the... I do not think that KD is going to be able to get up, and we have our winner. Henry is our new champion.